I'm going to take a few minutes here to debunk one of the flat earth lies that I've heard over and over again. They say that Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22, in the 1610 Dewey Reims, the Jesuit Bible, um, it teaches that the it's he that sitteth upon the globe of the earth or something like that. And so the Jesuits have been teaching for centuries that the earth is a globe and therefore you have to reject it because the Jesuits taught it. Well, if the Jesuits teach that uh, there's a difference between night and day, that doesn't mean you have to reject it. All right, let me just make that point first and foremost. I mean, one of the popes, I forget which one it was, but he said, ignorance of the scriptures is ignorance of Christ. Is that a true statement? You say, it can't be. It came from a pope. No, it's, if it's truth, it's truth. It doesn't matter what you have to think about that. But here's the problem. The 1610 Dewey Reims, which I have a copy of right here, this thing, it's four volumes. This is volume number three. I'll show you here in a minute. This does not teach, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22, does not say anything at all about a globe. In fact, it teaches the Jesuits of back then taught that the earth was flat. I'll show you the proof. But uh, let's read here. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22. He that sitteth upon the compass of the earth and the inhabitants thereof are as locusts, he that stretcheth out the heavens as nothing, and spreadeth them as a tent to dwell in. All right, I will show you the verse here. Let me point to it with my finger. I have to get up close here. You can see that, hopefully. It does not say globe. It says compass. Hmm. Um... Now, I'm not the brightest guy around, I realize, but uh, I've never seen a globe-shaped compass. Uh, compasses are flat. Okay, so the uh, Jesuits were teaching that the earth was flat back then. Right there it is. It's compass. That's how they translated this in 1610. You say, well, uh, uh, heliocentrism is in, Nic in uh, what's the guy's name? Nicholas Copernicus. Uh, that would have not been there at the time. Oh, actually, yes, it was because Copernicus, Copernicus came out with his teaching in 1543. The Jesuit order was formed in 1540. Huh. And this was not written until 1610. The New Testament was written in 1582. This isn't New Testament. This is Old Testament. It's an Old Testament passage. That's how most of the translations were into English were being done. New Testament first, and then later the Old Testament. It takes a lot more time to translate the Old Testament. There's a lot more of the Old Testament. So they would come out, they would translate the New Testament first, which is what happened with the Jesuits. They brought out an English translation in 1582, the Reims New Testament. The Dewey Old Testament came out in 1610. Right here it is. And this is the official tried and true, or the original and true, Dewey Old Testament of Anno Domini 1610. Volume 3, right there it is, put out by the Catholic Church, okay? I have a copy of it. There it is. And by the way, I have to say this again in case some of the flat earthers missed it. When I go like this, I'm not purposefully signaling that I work for the Illuminati, okay, unless you're really stupid. I have to see the viewfinder right there. So I have to hold this up for the camera, and then I have to get it in like this, and I'm trying to look and see if I have it focused, <laughs> Okay. I know everything's a conspiracy to you people. It's everything's a conspiracy, but no. You say, but but there's Dewey Reams quotations that says the globe of the earth. It says it. Yeah, it's called the Challoner Revision that happened in the late uh, 1800s, I think 1899. A bishop named Challoner rewrote the original 1610 Dewey Reams, rewrote it uh, actually to match the King James Bible. So interesting that they would have changed the word compass here to globe because the King James Bible says circle. Hmm. But I know some, some flat earther, and I'm going to say this, and it will be in the comments because they don't watch the whole video. Some flat earther is going to say, well, I've seen compasses that are, that are spherical. You know, you see them on like a boat or whatever else. They'll have the spherical thing. It, it curves it, but the compass is still flat inside. Okay. So in other words, you're looking down through a curved surface, but it's still a flat compass in there. You can't have a round spherical compass. It wouldn't work. So the fact that the Jesuits in 1610 were writing, um, you know, compass of the earth shows that they were actually teaching that the earth was flat. And Copernicus's view was 
had been around for you know 1543 they did this in 1610 so they've been around for quite a few years so don't give me this nonsense and if you're a flat earther you need to stop saying that it's okay to say that the challoner revision the 1899 dewey reams said or a globe he sits upon a globe or whatever it was you know the exact wording the word globe is the exact wording but before that i'm saying i don't memorize that stuff you can look it up yourself it's okay to say that, but stop your lying and saying 1610 Dewey Reams said globe. It doesn't say globe, it says compass. And see, you're purposefully covering that up because you understand that the Jesuits did originally teach a flat earth. Even though Copernicus's theory of heliocentrism um, was around, that they would have known about that. So why were the Jesuits teaching the flat earth theory back then? I wonder why. Um, repent. Get out of that system. It's a very wicked system, this whole flat earth thing. It's very wicked. I'm going to bring out information about it periodically. I'm not going to obsess over it. But I, I care about the brethren out there that have been led astray by this lie of this flat earth thing and whatever else. I am going to kick it. So that is going to be it. See you in the next study.